People across Green Country are noticing more coyotes around their homes, and experts tell Two Works for You reporter Corley Peel the cooler weather might make it worse. She's live in Bixby with an update on how many coyotes we're talking here. Corley. Brian, Bixby police say they've had several reports of coyotes near town. One resident says there's been several missing pets in her neighborhood, and she believes it's from the large pack of coyotes near her home. The empty feeling and, and the not knowing has been heartbreaking. It's been three months since Connie England last saw her dog Mitzi, and she thinks there's only one thing that could have happened. We really think that a coyote probably got her. England says at night she can hear a pack of coyotes howling outside her Bixby home. There were at least six or eight howling coyotes and a screaming, crying animal, um, maybe somebody's pet. Bixby police say new developments in town pushes coyotes out of their natural habitats and closer to humans. And they tell me they now have a plan of action. We're putting up uh, cameras, monitoring uh, the activity to see if we can justify um, that the information that we're getting is, is accurate and correct. Wildlife experts say coyote sightings are common this time of year in many areas across green country like this coyote standing in a Bristow residence backyard in broad daylight. The coyotes had their pups in the summer. Um, the pups are growing up right now and they require a lot of food. So the moms are overtime running around looking for uh, food. England says she hopes something can be done about the coyote soon because the neighborhood pets are depending on it. It's hard to blame them for what comes naturally, but it would be wonderful to see them caught and relocated. Residents with coyote concerns are asked to contact your local police or wildlife department. We've also created a map of coyote sightings on our website at cagerh.com. Reporting live in Bixby, Quirley Peel, Two Works for You.